r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. You just inherited 100 billion dollars. What ridiculous thing are you spending money on after all the common sense and helping others spending is done? I tell everyone the same story. I'm going to breed the loudest rooster possible. Just keep breeding them till I get absolute vocal monstrosities. Then release them in neighborhoods of people I hate or anywhere for that matter. Edit. Thanks for the silver stranger. Didn't really expect all the feedback but if any of you guys hear of a crazy guy with loud roosters in about 30 years you'll know it's me. That's horribly awesome. My friends and I all decided that if any one of us ever came into a ridiculous amount of money that we would buy or start a minor league baseball franchise and have the most ridiculous promotions and gimmicks. Like set off fireworks every time a member of the opposite team got a walk. Have a monster truck crash through the outfield fence at a random point every game. Buy a golf course right next to the stadium and give everyone in attendance a free golf cart if a foul ball lands in one of the holes. Stupid shit like that. I would buy season tickets to see shenanigans like this. I'm gonna spend 3 billion to try and track down this rich relative of mine no one ever heard of. Buys 3 billion dollar mirror. I'm going to buy and plant 20 million and one trees. My dream home. It is a massive castle full of secret passageways. A labyrinth and it is set on top of a mountain. I totally forgot about secret passageways in my comment. I would totally want this. Build a team to land one of those diamond meteors. Land it on earth and then plunge the global diamond trade into free fall. Or you could just buy D beers. Release all the current stock of diamonds they have and basically do the same thing. Diamonds are only as rare as D beers says they are. They control the entire market. A butler. Not an assistant. A middle aged. Slight man with a posh accent called Jeeves who wears a tux with a frilly white shirt who calls me sir and hangs my coat up for me. I'd pay him a sick ass wage and really integrate him into the family. And if I have disagreements with anyone I'd get him to respond to a click of my fingers by telling them so doesn't respond to ruffians. Better. You don't have to snap he just knows exactly when to say it. I would have a documentary created about me and get David Attenborough to narrate it. And there Scooty goes. Eating her fifth bowl of cereal today. Fascinating. We believe the fruit loops stuck in her hair serve a dual purpose in warding off predators and attracting a mate. Or possibly attracting predators and warding off a mate. Stem cell research to get me that much closer to immortality. I'd hire someone to stop the microwave at one second so I don't have to. Damn. Until your comment. It never occurred to me to just google how to disable microwave beeping. Build my own island and float away. I'm not sure that's how islands work. I would have a massage therapist visit my house each morning so I could start every single day on a fantastic note. Why stop there? With that kind of money. You could have a personal trainer help you work out first. Then get your professional massage. Then you shower. When you're clean. A stylist has laid out your clothes for the day and is ready to do your hair and gives you a shave, if a man, orders your makeup. In the meantime, your personal chef had a smoothie timed for your workout and by the time you're dressed and ready, a lovely brunch and your favorite tea coffee are waiting for you. Firefly Season 2. The prompt said after common sense spending. Buying Winra. I'd buy Winra. But like actually buy Winra. The company. Or rights. Or patent. Feels like the least I could do to set the creator up for life. I live in Canada. I would build a massive glass greenhouse on a private acreage and heat it up toasty and live in it surrounded by lemon trees and fresh tomatoes and veggies and make my own permanent summer. I'm also Canadian and legitimately have thought of this before. Like the palm house at Kew Gardens but much larger in scale. I drive a Ford Fiesta. I'm dipping it in gold. It's funny because sometimes in my fantasy I think about getting a professional lift so I can finally work on my car when things go bad and I need to fix it on the cheap. But then I realize. If I had the money for a lift. I wouldn't need it as I could finally get a car that won't break down once every 6 months. I would buy New Zealand and rename it Middle Earth. That'll put it on the map. 
dress up as a homeless man and give $10k to every person that tries to give me money. Edit. Confused by so many people saying that my idea is ridiculous. Isn't that kind of the point? Edit 2. To stop people from catching on to what's happening. The individuals would receive the money indirectly from myself. Therefore never knowing it was from the homeless man they were so generous to. Edit 3. Guess I have to give $10k to the individual who gave me silver. I love the idea. But that'd be fun precisely 4 times. Then word gets out and you're swarmed by the hungry masses of average middle class Joes looking for a handout. They deed you. You slash Buxton HD. Luxury private airship it's like a yacht that can go anywhere. We're going to party like it's 1931. With that type of money I can add quack to my burrito without having to ask how much extra it is first. That's happiness. A wise man once said. First I would not. Because I need post nut clarity. FR though. Post nut clarity is something most people can only hope to achieve their whole lifetime. Build an awesome automated mansion that includes a model railway track running through the whole house so you can tell a train to go pick up your drink order from the kitchen. Like yeah sure I guess tigers and jet skis are pretty cool but really I just want to sit around my living room in a $15,000 gown like. Duck yeah here comes the choo choo. And my husband could collect all the trains in any scale he wants while I get to paint miniatures and make like famous murder houses and haunted places for them to travel through. Maybe even get really crazy and have a water slide shortcut to the basement or build the whole thing over a missile silo to recreate that glass floor bathroom. I don't know what to do with money. While I may not be a train enthusiast how could anyone have a bad day with here comes the train choo choo. I'm going to build a giant maze designed after my fingerprint and hire someone to hang out in the middle in a minor tour costume. With 100 billion you could probably fund genetic engineering to advance to the point where you can have a real minotaur and still make that labyrinth big enough to be visible from space. Fund genetic engineering and make myself breath underwater. Then sink a real pirate ship and just live underwater throwing tridents at anybody that comes near. You alone have grasped the true limits of this question. You slash xiax 824. A gigantic plot of land in which I will recreate popular levels from Halo, Call of Duty, Goldeneye, etc. As separate paintball arenas. Now this is an excellent idea. Two university textbooks. First hand. Why would you want to go into student debt again right after becoming rich for a minute? Common sense? Helping others? Dude. With 100 billion dollars I'm gonna live in a castle and hire an army to defend it and people to live in it so that I can be a king. Kings weren't kings by paying the serfs. It was the other way around. Paying a bunch of goons to defend you when nobody is attacking just means you're paying a bunch of people to do nothing. So you're actually the peasant in this example. My chance to be the best kind of nerd in the world. Buy a commercial building somewhere downtown and set up a trust that can perpetually pay for its upkeep and security staff. Make each floor dedicated for a particular subculture of gaming. Tabletop RPGs. Board games. War games. PC games. Players bring their own PCs. Lands top notch though. Rooms dedicated for RPG sessions are soundproofed. Tables are well lit and relaxing couches in more dim spaces are available for kibitzing before or after a long game. Board gaming RPG library available for use on the premises. Secure storage lockers available for existing game clubs to keep their games minis and other gaming materials on site. Refreshments, coffee, juice, etc. Available at cost, including to pay for the barista's salary. Printing. 3D printing. Lamination. And everything necessary to make your own game or game aids available at cost. Open 24h every day. Showers available right off the main space of each floor. Now you and I both know those showers are never getting used. Donate 1 million trees as if it was nothing. Edit. Word. 3am comments sometimes blow up. I'd go extra and donate 1 billion with that kind of money. Buying a large plot of land. Turning into a bunker, natural disaster type. 
and anti-burglary, then further renovating the inside into a cozy home with a couple of hidden rooms and cat dog super highways all about. We'll then adopt kittens and puppies. Install the best Wi-Fi I can. And finally get to live happy. Without a worry. I'd definitely have my groceries ordered and never have to leave my home again. Dogs would have all the room to run they could want. And a sheltered outside access to avoid digging and jumping fence worries. Cats would be able to chill high up and in hidden cozy spots as they wish. No need to worry about fires. Earthquakes. Burglaries. Trespassers. Because not only would I heavily invest in the entire structure, but in its security to keep people out. It would actually be the one place in the world where I could be stress free. Buying a large plot of land. Turning into a bunker, natural disaster type. And anti-burglary, then further renovating the inside into a cozy home. Seriously. I want to do that someday I want it to look like the Teletubbies house. That thing looks amazing. And should be pure concrete below. Kit has a 97 Mazda Maya to look like it belongs in the world of Mad Max, internally and externally, and pay whatever the duck I gotta pay to get a tiny ass car covered in spikes and rusted metal with a crazy exhaust system street legal and play around in it all day. Or buy the Hunicon. Cause that car is a beast. Either that or make a telemarketing company that specifically tracks down and calls spam numbers to spam the spammers. I have thought about this. I would design a giant park that would include all of the following at a reasonable price for the general public. Full stop. An amusement park. Full stop. A zoo. Full stop. A museum. Full stop. A performing arts center. Full stop. A movie theater, with attached diner slash restaurant, that showed classic films. Full stop. A drive-in movie theater. Full stop. A summer camp. All of these things would be the most epic examples of these things imaginable. The world needs a little more wonder and magic in it and I would feel obligated to provide it. A great work of beautiful architecture like the Natural History Museum, London, or the Palais Garnier or Versailles etc. I've often wondered why buildings like this don't get built anymore. It doesn't seem to be cost, surely someone has enough money. Is it just not the style anymore? Anyway I would have these enormous grand spaces to do with what I wanted. I would just make them beautiful. Using the finest possible materials and having the work done by the best craftsmen and women in the world. As an example. I'm thinking of a Versailles kind of hall of mirrors crossed with mausoleum of shy cherub flavored walls and ceilings. YouTube.com link. Add some insane lighting. Some sunlight at certain times of the day or year. Yeah and that would just be one space. There would be more. And I would live in it. Bethesda Softworks. Open source Fallout and Elder Scrolls. Let the community fix it. You sir. Are a god. I don't even know what to do with any of that money. It would be nice to buy a coffee without checking the bank account first though. Not having to check the account first to buy anything. Heaven. I've always wanted to try those hot Cheeto chips from America. So I would buy the company. Go to college and start taking classes and getting certificates in anything that sounds useful or interesting. You could afford private instruction from world renowned experts. I'll change them to rubles and buy Russia. Putin will take your money and tell you to duck off. Legos. So many Legos. Did nobody read the question? OP said after all the common sense spending. Buy an Atamaton. I feel like you could buy all of the Atamatones. And build a huge robot array that could play them. And build an Atama temple with your autumn organ and have it blasting Derud Sandstorm 24 stroke 7. Might get a popcorn for the movies. Maybe a large maybe a medium IDK. All the cool shit in video games I can't afford. When it comes to in-game specialty items you want it's equal parts throwing money into a fire and getting exactly what you want. Refilming season 8 of Game of Thrones and not rushing the ending charter plot. And releasing it for free for the world. I would kidnap George R. R. Martin and hold him hostage until he finished the damn books. I would treat him like the royalty he is though. I would buy up all the advertising blocks for the next Super Bowl and it would be grainy. 
Low quality video of an empty room with me standing in the middle practicing armpit farts. Probably a tiny island nation. Ducking like and subscribe.